Every 15 minutes, one man dies from prostate cancer, and yet, few men realize that how often they ejaculate might actually affect their risk. Does frequent ejaculation really protect the prostate? Or could it do more harm than good, especially when linked to compulsive masturbation and dopamine addiction? In this video, we'll break down the science. We'll reveal what's fact, what's myth, and what every man needs to know to protect his body and his mind. Whether you're in your 30s, 40s, or beyond, this could change how you look at your health forever. So if you care about your long-term vitality, hit the like button, subscribe, and share this video with someone who needs to hear it. This is your daily dose of health. Prostate cancer is the second most common cancer among men worldwide. Over 1.4 million men are diagnosed each year, and hundreds of thousands die, often without ever knowing they were at risk. But this isn't just about cancer. The prostate is a small gland with a massive role. It controls reproductive health, impacts testosterone function, and influences urinary flow. And one of the most controversial factors tied to its health is ejaculation. Some studies suggest that regular ejaculation helps flush toxins and reduce inflammation. Others show that when ejaculation turns into addiction, especially through excessive pornography use, the consequences for the brain and body can be devastating. That's why this conversation matters, not just for men's physical health, but for their mental clarity, hormonal balance, and overall quality of life. Let's get one thing straight. There is science behind the idea that ejaculation can influence prostate health. In fact, one of the most well-known studies published in the journal European Urology followed nearly 32,000 men over 18 years. The results were surprising. Men who ejaculated 21 or more times per month had a significantly lower risk of developing prostate cancer compared to those who ejaculated only four to seven times. Researchers believe that regular ejaculation may help clear the prostate of harmful substances, reduce congestion, and regulate certain hormones. Sounds like a green light, right? Not so fast. The study also made something clear. Context matters. Ejaculation as a part of a healthy sexual life is one thing. Ejaculation driven by compulsion, addiction, or emotional escape, especially when tied to excessive pornography, is something entirely different. It's not just about the act. It's about the reason behind it, the frequency and the mental state it produces. And that's what brings us to a much deeper concern. Ejaculation is a natural biological process. And when it happens in moderation, it comes with several health benefits. It can help reduce stress, improve sleep quality, release feel-good hormones like oxytocin and prolactin, and support healthy prostate function by clearing out old seminal fluid. But here's where it gets complicated. More isn't always better. When ejaculation becomes too frequent, especially through habitual solitary masturbation, it can begin to take a toll on the body's hormonal balance. Testosterone levels can fluctuate, energy can drop, and even immune function can weaken. Why? because your body treats ejaculation as a release of vital energy and resources. Overdoing it can send mixed signals to your endocrine system. On top of that, there's the dopamine effect. Each ejaculation releases a surge of dopamine, a powerful neurotransmitter tied to reward and motivation. If you're constantly triggering that release through artificial stimulation like porn, your brain may start to desensitize. That means over time you may feel less pleasure, need more stimulation, and struggle with focus, drive, or even real-life intimacy. This isn't just theory. It's backed by neuroscience. The same reward pathways affected by drug addiction can be hijacked by compulsive sexual behavior. So while occasional intentional ejaculation can be a healthy part of life, constant compulsive release can push your body and your brain out of balance. At first it feels harmless, a quick release, a private moment. But over time, what starts as a stress reliever can silently become a trap, especially when tied to pornography or emotional escape. Compulsive masturbation rewires your brain. Each time you seek that dopamine hit, your neural circuits are trained to crave more. The reward system becomes overstimulated, and soon natural pleasures like intimacy, connection, or achievement just don't feel as satisfying anymore. You start feeling tired, foggy, even anxious or depressed. You might lose interest in real relationships. You may begin to isolate yourself. And what's worse, 
Many men carry shame and silence thinking they're the only ones struggling with this. But you're not alone, and you're not broken. Psychologists are increasingly linking excessive masturbation to dopamine dysregulation, emotional dependency, and even symptoms of attention issues or low motivation. Your brain is overloaded, not weak. It needs time, space, and support to reset. This is not about demonizing sexuality. It's about regaining control. Because when a habit begins to control you, that's when your freedom, health, and clarity start to slip away. Let's be clear, ejaculation isn't the enemy. It's a natural, healthy part of male physiology. But in a world overloaded with hyperstimulation, instant gratification, and digital escape, balance is no longer automatic. It must be intentional. So how do you find that balance? It starts with understanding your patterns and being honest about what's driving your behavior. Ask yourself, are you ejaculating out of connection or out of boredom? Are you in control of your desires or are they controlling you? Is your sexual energy leaving you energized or drained, distracted and disconnected? When masturbation becomes a coping mechanism for anxiety, stress, loneliness or emotional numbness, it stops being restorative and starts being harmful. Over time, this can lead to what's known as sexual burnout, a state where the body feels fatigued, motivation plummets, and real-life intimacy feels dull or anxiety-inducing. That's not just psychological, it's neurochemical. Each time you trigger a dopamine spike through artificial means, your brain's receptors gradually become less responsive. You need more stimulation to feel the same reward. This leads to compulsive cycles, guilt, shame, and a deeper disconnection from your own body. Now let's talk prostate health specifically. Medical research shows that moderate regular ejaculation may support prostate function by flushing out potentially inflammatory secretions and reducing congestion. But it's important to understand this benefit within context. It's not about chasing numbers. It's about supporting a healthy, integrated lifestyle. Here's what that looks like in practice. Listen to your body. If you're constantly feeling fatigue, brain fog, or irritability after ejaculation, that's not normal. Your body is telling you something. Limit artificial stimulation. Reducing or eliminating porn allows your brain to reset, improves emotional regulation, and restores your sensitivity to real-life pleasure. Create a rhythm. Healthy ejaculation frequency varies from person to person. For some, it might be a few times a week. For others, once every 7-10 days feels best. What matters is how your body and mind respond. Transmute sexual energy. Use that energy to fuel creativity, physical exercise, or focused work. Many men report that when they reduce compulsive release, they experience heightened clarity, ambition, and emotional stability. Prioritize connection over escape. Whether it's emotional intimacy with a partner or building a deeper relationship with your own body, shift from mindless release to mindful engagement. Support your prostate holistically. Incorporate zinc-rich foods, stay physically active, maintain a healthy weight, and avoid chronic inflammation. These lifestyle factors are just as powerful as any supplement or sexual practice. And finally, don't navigate this journey in silence. Millions of men silently battle compulsive sexual behaviors or prostate concerns, but with the right information, habits, and support, it's entirely possible to reverse the damage, restore vitality, and reconnect with your true masculine energy. You are not broken. You are biologically powerful, but only if you learn to use that power wisely. Let's step back for a moment. This conversation wasn't just about ejaculation. It wasn't just about the prostate or porn or dopamine. It was about ownership, about taking responsibility for the rhythms of your life and realizing how something as personal and private as your sexual habits can have profound effects on your physical health, mental clarity, and emotional resilience. You've seen the science. You've heard the risks. You've also heard the hope. Yes, frequent conscious ejaculation may reduce your risk of prostate cancer, but only when it's part of a healthy, intentional lifestyle. Yes, sexual release can be beneficial. But when driven by compulsion, it becomes a source of weakness, not strength. If you're feeling out of balance, it's not a sign of failure. It's a signal for change. Start small. Reflect on your current habits. Ask yourself where you're spending your energy and whether it's lifting you up or draining you. Be honest, be curious, and most of all,
be kind with yourself. Transformation doesn't come from shame. It comes from clarity, consistency, and conscious choice. Leave a comment below. What was your biggest insight today, or what's one habit you're committed to changing? Your story could inspire someone else to take back control of their health. And remember, your body is not your enemy. Your urges are not a curse. They're signals. They're energy. And when you learn how to master that energy, you stop surviving and start living with power. If you like this video and want more tips on how to maintain your health, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and share this video with your friends and family. Taking care of your health is a commitment we must make together.